Okay, coming clean, I've got to be completely honest, everything in my book. Hey guys, it's Jess and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a very happy and productive week. And in today's video, I'm going to be addressing a bunch of your questions about my new study skills book, The High School Survival Guide. Or, wait, ta-da! <laughs> it's really weird actually holding my own book. I feel very... I don't know, it just hasn't really sunk in. It doesn't seem like it's real that I can actually call myself a published author in my 20s. It's definitely been something I've wanted to do for such a long time, but I honestly thought it would be a possibility maybe one day in the very distant future, maybe in my 30s or 40s or even older than that. So I'm just so excited that I actually have come out with my own study skills book. And like I said a while ago, it's literally a brain dump of everything that I could possibly share with you to help you out with your studies and a lot of you guys have been giving me such amazing feedback, so thank you so much. So I know that there's a lot of questions about my book and my experience writing a book as well, so I thought I'd address them in today's video and come clean and be totally open and honest with you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and thumbs up if you do. Also, before we get into the Q&A, make sure to subscribe if you aren't subscribed already so you don't miss out on more of my study tip videos as well. And also, if you guys aren't following me on social media at Study With Jess for Instagram and Twitter, make sure you do follow me because all these questions I did pull from social media. So if you want to get involved in future Q&As, then all you got to do is follow me, guys. <laughs> all right, so the first question I thought I would answer is, what do I love most about my book? So I love so many things about my book. I don't know if I can choose one. If I had to choose one, I would say... Look, we really didn't want to come out with just another study skills book. When I was talking to the publishers and my editor, we wanted to make it stand out from other books on the market. So apart from it being in colour, which is so cool, I love that it's in colour, I think that's really nice. The thing that I love most though would be that it's interactive. So there's actually a lot of pages that you can write in, you can tear out, you can cut out as well. Um, I'll have a little look for one of them. Okay, so this is... This is probably my favorite little interactive activity. It's just a little bit of fun, but when I was in high school, I really didn't want anyone to interrupt my study sessions at home. So my mum got an old bag tag and she cut out and put little sheets of paper inside with just funny little notes like, do not disturb, genius in progress, or getting my nerd on. So we decided to do the same. And on this page, it has a couple of different ones you can cut out and you can also stick on your door or put in a bag tag as well. Um, there's also some really good ones like a priority matrix so that you can write down a list of to-dos and organize them. Um, there's even things for goal setting as well. So I really like that it's interactive and that it's not just a book to read, but it's something that you can actually write in, tear out, cut out and, and really put into practice. Alright, so question two was how did I come up with the name for this novel? So. The whole idea is this is a study skills book that is applicable to students of all ages. It's not really age specific, gender specific, anything like that. But we called it the high school survival guide because ideally all of these tips should be implemented from as early on and if possible from high school. Now in Australia, high school is actually from grade seven when you turn 12. So I know overseas it's a little bit different. I think high school for some of you is grade eight or grade nine. But honestly, this book is full of tips for anyone, yeah, I'd say from grade 7 at the age of 12 all the way through to your university or college years till your 20s, 30s. If you're a mature age student, then I don't discriminate. You know, this book is also going to help you out as well. Uh, but yeah, we called it the High School Survival Guide purely because I think these tips should be implemented from grade 7 when you're 12 years old in Australia. And I just think that they carry through throughout your education. The next question was, what do I think influenced me to write this book the most? Honestly, I have to say you guys, because you send in so many questions. I get so many emails. My Instagram direct message box is flooded at the moment. I'm doing my best to get back to all of you, but there are so many of you and I'm getting so many more questions. So the whole idea was, how can I create another resource that's going to help you guys if I'm unable to get back to you? And it's actually going to not only address one or two questions you might have, but act as an ongoing support for years and years of your studies. So I'd say that you guys influenced me the most. The next question is, is everything in my book true? Okay, coming clean, I've got to be completely honest. Everything in my book, it's true. <laughs> 
Honestly, guys, I couldn't lie to you. I would never want to lie to 7 million of you. I make it such an important part of what I do is that I'm completely honest. So it's really, it's essential that I'm completely honest and open with you guys in my book. All of the stories that I include about my time in high school and university, totally true, honestly. Yeah, that stuff really did happen to me and I really did do some of those things that I said I did with a bit of regret. <laughs> but I would never want to lie to you guys and I think it's really important, especially with YouTube, that you know I'm just really open and honest and you guys get to see the real me. I don't ever want to have some sort of a shield or barrier up between us. I think, yeah, if you're going to have relationships with one another and I want you guys to get to know the real me, then I have to be open and honest. Another question was, how long did it take me to write my book? Oh, too long and at the same time not long enough. So I had a really pressured deadline, I had a really short deadline to get it all done and whilst I had the content, a lot of it already from all of my videos and I was condensing it and building on that for the book, I wrote it in honestly not that long. I mean I worked really hard on it, I was probably writing my book full time for quite a few months but I could have probably done with an extra three or four months if I had the opportunity to ask for it. But we were trying to get it out for the back to school season in America. So yeah, there was a really pressured deadline. How many words is your book? I don't know exactly. I'd have to go into my document on my laptop, but I'd say it's roughly 36,000 words. So yeah, this bad boy took a while to write. Okay, a couple more questions. What was my favorite story I included in my book? Oh, there are a lot of them. I honestly shared my favorite stories from my time at school and university, but one of my favorites that I really wanted to include just because I thought it was a bit cheeky was about my book report that I wrote in grade nine and it was based on a book that I never read and never existed. So if you guys want to read that story, um, I think it's in the chapter titled Managing or Tackling Large Assignments or Major Assignments. Um, so yeah, if you guys haven't read it, then yeah, the good part is waiting. <laughs> Will I ever write another book? Absolutely. I definitely plan on it, but I don't know what it's going to be about and I don't know when I'm going to be writing it. I just know that now that I've written one book, I just don't feel like I can stop at one. <laughs> Last question is, will your book be sold around the world? So yes, it's currently in Barnes & Noble's Walmart. If you're in UK and Canada, I think there's chapters and another one. Um, it's coming to Australia very soon as well. And if you don't have any of those retailers, then you can also order it online from Amazon, Book Depository, Booktopia. I'll leave a few links down below, but yes, it will be sold all around the world, which is unbelievable. I'm so excited. So thanks so much, guys, for all of your questions. This has been really fun. I love answering all of your questions and just yeah, keeping you posted with what's happening in my life and sharing stories about my own experience and what I'm working on. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have read the High School Survival Guide, comment below. And if you guys also have your copy, then take a photo and post it on social media. Just tag me at Study With Jess. And if you guys don't have your copy and you don't want to miss out, then click the links below. Like I said, you can order it online or you can even go into one of your main bookstores as well. If you guys are in America, Canada, UK and soon to be Australia as well. So if you enjoyed today's video, of course, thumbs up to let me know and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And I will see you guys in a couple of days with another study tips video. Bye.